Alright guys, it's finally time for video 2 of my GPD Pocket video series. I'm sorry about the long wait between the unboxing and today's video. I've been trying to get the video done for the past 3 or 4 days, but I've been dealing with a lot of stuff. It's real personal, I'm not going to get into it. So today, we're going to take a look at the first step, the biggest step, of identifying the GPD Pocket as a gaming platform or like a gaming mini laptop. What do we do with this? We're going to show off PC games. So I've got about maybe not an entire dozen of games to test and show you, but I've got some stuff here and well, let's get to it. What you're seeing right now is the ultimate doom. Doom, Doom 2, and Final Doom perform the same. You can't really read the FPS, but, I mean, it's not like Super Ultra 100 FPS here, but you can see that it's... I mean, it's it plays pretty much like the original Doom did. I don't really know what FPS Doom played in the 90s, but it looks about right. Now we're playing Doom 3. As you may not know... Doom 3 on PC does not support controllers, so you really got to use keyboard and mouse for this. It's very awkward, as you see me doing here with the like the little mouse nub. But I mean, Doom 3, you can always use cheats if you have really big problems, or you could just use a USB mouse. But it runs around 40 to 60 FPS, so really, really well as far as playability goes. And moving right along. What we're looking at here is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. This play of Skyrim starts out running around 30 to 45 FPS. It's a little bit hard to read the FPS counter in the top left corner, but this is probably the best I've had Skyrim run on this machine. Granted, here I am not using the TLL command to lower the draw distance to increase FPS, so it would jump a little bit higher if I did that. But all in all, Skyrim runs very well. Note that I also went into Task Manager and prioritized the Skyrim application for high priority. So you might need to do that if it's not running as well as you hope or as well as you're seeing in this video. Next up is Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition. Or just Fallout 3. Looks, this is right after you get Fallout out of Vault 101, running around 35 to 40, 50 FPS. Just chugging right along. Every once in a while, it'll drop under 30 in combat, but it never really drops under, say, 25 or so. It's really smooth the entire time. So you won't have any problems playing Fallout 3 on this device. Next to continue Fallout, we've got Fallout New Vegas. Now this is the inside of Vault 11, showing me and running around with Veronica. We're not really getting super great FPS, we're getting about 20 to 25 FPS. I've had it jump up to around 30 in New Vegas, but really it stays around 20 to 25. Granted there are mod textures and whatnot involved here, so if you do it vanilla it might be a little bit better. But just know, it's not nearly as smooth as Skyrim and uh, Fallout 3. Here we've got Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 1. Not really great FPS going here. I mean, right now we're standing still. we got about 25 FPS. Drops down under 20 as soon as you start moving in when you go into combat. This isn't a giant problem because it's a turn-based RPG, but still it's quite annoying and definitely not up to par even with how the uh, PlayStation Vita version played. Of course, in all of these games that you're watching, I've got very low uh, specs enabled low settings. Next we've got The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky 3. This is running really well. It normally stays above 40 or 50 FPS the entire time, which surprisingly is better than it ran on my Surface Pro 2, which was more like 20-30 FPS. So this is really really smooth. I mean you'd expect it from a 2D game like this, but I mean there's 3D here and there. All in all, if you're a handheld fan and want to play the third game in the Trails in the Sky series, it runs very, very well in the GPD Pocket.
Next up is LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. It runs pretty nice overall, stays around 50 to 60 FPS, sometimes I'll see it drop down to 40 or 30, but really, it stays very, very playable the entire time. Here we've got Mega Dimension Neptunia V2, running a, just slightly under what Rebirth 1 ran. We're talking about between 10 and 15 FPS pretty much the entire time. A lot, there are quite a few scenarios where the game will drop under 10 FPS. I mean, you can play it, but it doesn't play very well. One of the last ones we're showing is KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic 2. We're running a good solid 30 to 40 FPS and up. This is the tutorial section. And the Knights of the, Knights of the Old Republic 1 runs about the same. So, nice, good, playable, above 30 FPS. Finally, we've got Tomb Raider Underworld. I don't know what FPS this is running. It's, you can definitely see that it's struggling a little bit. I would say this is probably in the 20s, maybe the low 20s. And when you see this grapple animation, it definitely dr drops under 20. I mean, definitely playable, just not terribly smooth. There are other games I could test. Um, just so you know, I did try running the Doom 4 demo and Fallout 4, neither of which would even open. They always constantly crashed. So instead of running mods to try to force them to run, I just left it as is. You can play Skyrim, Fallout 3, and Fallout New Vegas really well on this on the go, and that's really the big thing with the GPD win as well. So if you want Skyrim on the go before the Nintendo Switch version comes out this fall, or you want Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas on the go, well, kind of, in a little tiny mini laptop, this will definitely do that. Just don't expect anything new to run. But that pretty much wraps things up for the second video. I'm going to do another video to show how emulation works. I'm not going to have a lot of emulators on it, but I'm going to have some. So... You can look forward to that. I can't really give you a date. Things have been up and down with me lately. Some days are really bad and I can't really focus on anything. And other days I can focus on a lot, like today. So just, it's coming. 